How's it going guys? Um, okay, so this is my first laptop review of the Dell Latitude E5400. And um, i never done a laptop review before, but this is my first one, so I'm, I'm going to go all the features, what it has on the sides, and the Windows Experience Index that's included here, and the processor and the operating system. So, let's, let's go on. It is the piano black exterior with the Dell logo right here. And um, let's see. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here on my finger, we have the battery charger and the power. The battery turns orange when it's running low or when it needs to be charged immediately. It turns on blue when it's charging. And um, let's see. On the side here, we have a DVD drive. Um, we have a um, audio and headphone jack, two USB ports, and an AC power, and the Kensington lock slot. The Kensington lock slot, they sell these in stores like in CompUSA or Best Buy, it's, etc. It keeps your laptop secure in case you're from any thieves. You know, like stealing from laptops and stuff. You could do see those in stores. Like when you like hold a product and then the alarm goes off, and that's how it happens. And on this side here we have a VGA port, uh, um telephone line and Ethernet port, two USB ports, that means a total of four, a S video out and a one three nine four port, I don't even know what that's for. And last but not least, the network card. And um, let's see. Let's open it up. The screen is about 15.3. It is and it's measured diagonally, not like such. Um, here we have a Dell logo. I know the screen is a little bit too bright, so I apologize for that. I don't know if you can see. The keyboard is really easy to use once you get used to it. Like, it's easy to type. And, um, yeah, um, it's kind of easy to type. You, you might get used to it on the first time. So, let me tell you more about its features. This is what the keyboard looks like. We have a small mouse track here with a Intel Core du 2 dual processor. I apologize. With a Windows Vista Gen Business. So this is like a business laptop. And right here we have the power button. And right here, let's see, here we have the volume controls. Uh, mute, higher, boost the volume. Here we have like the lights and the kid number lock, scroll lock, or caps lock. And here you can see that we have. Three, the three bars in case we're running on low signal on the internet via wireless. They, um, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi switch, it's blue when it's on. And um, let's see here. Also, we have a battery, turns orange when it's low. It's kind of the same to one in the front, as I showed you earlier. And the hard drive, like. And also, including this laptop, we have a, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is an SD card output and a Wi-Fi switch. Um, and according to this, the Windows Experience Index here is, um, let's see, aha, right here. The Windows Experience Index has a base score of 3.7, which is not bad. The one I'm using right now, this one's not mine actually, the one I'm using right here is a laptop and it's recording from a webcam. And it has a Windows Experience Index of 4.2, so that's really good. The component is what is rated, it has a, the processor calculations per second is a 4.9, memory operations per second is a 4.9, the desktop performance for Windows Arial is 3.8, and the 3.7 is for the gaming graphics. Of course, the Windows Vista Business Edition does not have any games, unless if you buy some. And the primary hard disk 
transfer rate is a 5.3 so that's not bad so um, basically that's it and one thing about the mem hard drive is that so um, let's see here Intel Core 2 dual processor inside which is about 2 megahertz so it's not bad My, the one I'm using right here right now is an AMD Premium Vision it is about 2.40 and then let's see here um, it has 3 gigs of RAM mine has 4 um, so basically that's it I hope you enjoy this guys hope, hope this video review helped but however they don't sell these laptops anymore all they have is the bios and stuff unless you can get on eBay so um, well guys thanks for watching and the pros and cons will be up next. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, I'm sorry, is that the, the hard drive is not that good, actually. It, it has about 150 gigs, so that's not good for a business laptop. So that's one thing that's coming up. Here we have a 6-cell battery drive that brings up to 2 hours and 45 minutes, estimated, with the product key. Um, let's see. The white label you see here is the express service code in case like if your warranty goes out. They have it on most Dell computers and desktop and it's stuff. And um, let's see here. Here is like a port to dock or undock your, your docker. I don't even know what you call it, but it's optional. I mean, I mean Dell don't, don't, doesn't longer make those products anymore. So. That's it.